वेलकम टू द डेमो सेशन कमिंग टू माई आई हैव अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन डिजिटल इंडस्ट्री एंड आई एम फेमिलियर विद गूगल एनालिटिक्स अडोबी एनालिटिक्स एज वेल एज वर्किंग और ऑडियंस मैनेजर एक्सपीरियंस इज वर्किंग ऑन डी एम टी एंड हाउ वी कैन मेक श्योर डी एम टी एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रोवाइड बिजनेस द बेस्ट वे टू यूज दियर डेटा एंड यू नो to improve their uh, data driven marketing approach also i have been awarded for um, managing the dmp for one of the clients where i'm working currently as well as uh, i have certified as a business practitioner in adobe audience manager in, in the course uh, we will be going to dmp once in a while the basics and um, a basic ui of the audience manager tool we will go to the audience manager implementation best practices and uh, should be the ideal state of implementation of audience manager how we can strategically or segment the audiences for uh, within dmp how we can activate the segments across different uh, platforms then how we can use the modeling feature of adobe audience manager to identify more local like audiences how we can use the reporting capabilities of audience manager and lastly audience marketplace and audience analytics today's agenda i'll walk you through one of the demo topic of today and share some certification details that are available for audience manager we'll go through the very first topic that is dmp 101 and audience manager ui so basically what is dmp DMP in, in simple terms is a data management platform. But beyond that, what does it do? So, as digital media is growing more complexly and more user data is being collected and created on a daily basis, agencies and and the marketers and the teams need a better way to sell their products and manage their audiences beyond the st- standard way of you know. the same old uh, systems where the data is being stored and then exported to different platforms for using them so how do we capture this valuable in- data and shape it into form of audience and generate insights to act- activate them and drive our outcomes so there dmp uh, as a data management platform helps us to collect organize and activate a different sources of data that is first party data second party data or third party data from any source including offline online or beyond that it is a backbone of data driven marketing strategy and allows business to gain unique insights into their customers test and try different audience group and and understand what is working best for them and what not why do we have dmp usually what happens is different teams are having a different data source or a different way of capturing the data and storing it in, in their database and those database are not very easily speaking to each other due to which whenever we are exporting any set of ids or say any set of data to an, any other platform for the purpose of marketing and if there is a overlap between the two databases then we are showing a you know this joint that experience to the customer by targeting him or her in two different ways by by a different mechanism so that we we using dmp we, uh, we can combine the different data sources that are available build unique audience profile and also identify local like using the dmp feature combined with any other uh, behavioral data or psychographic data that we can you know avail from the different other options and build audiences for our brands so it will help us to help us to test and try different audience group and activate them across different platforms overview of audience manager audience manager allows us to create audience segments and leverage them for targeted media buys and audience discovery by that i mean it allows us to merge first party second party and third party data basically first party data is data that is owned by the company and i am sure you must be familiar with that so a digital marketer already and second party is any partners first party data that mutually is exchanged between the two parties based on the agreement and third party is that is collected from the various sources and then we can avail them at a particular subscription cost or 
or so. Right. So all the data is collected in, in, in audience manager and then we segment those different sources. Like for example, I can combine some data points from a first party data and merge it with a third party data to understand what type of segment I, I will have or only if I want to create a segment using first party data that is only for purchase and then combining third party data. That way also I can understand the different uh, segments that can be created and you know identify the best audience that would be suitable for a particular campaign. Then we can activate it across multiple platforms. So with DMT uh, we'll have a central page for a segment and from there we can push it to any platform that we wish to run campaigns from. So this is one of the important features of audience manager like you need not export like it overcomes the challenge wherein they need to upload different data sets to different platforms for running the campaign wherein in DMT you just need to do the upload or make the data collection uh, available in audience manager once and then you can push it to different platforms you need not upload it again and again in different platforms so going further into data collection of how audience manager works with regards to data sources it can any any data that we can upload offline online PRM data or third party or first party data there is no constraint with regards to the data that we want to upload so first type of data is browsing or behavioral data by that i mean all the data that is collected with collected uh, from adobe analytics so on the website there is adobe tag days usually when or like usually clients do have adobe analytics as well as audience manager in, in their tools in their adobe tools tab whenever adobe analytics is, is there all the data that is collected in adobe analytics will be available in audience manager as well through some settings which are need to be done uh, within audience management and analytics that is a one thing thing after which the data starts flowing into audience manager any other analytics data that we have in any other system can also be linked within uh, within audience manager data source or campaign impressions that have been captured so going forward into uh, offline data so the crm data that is that we already have and we want to upload and merge it with the online data we can do that as well or we, or we have any offline retail store data that we want to connect into audience manager that can be done as well coming to third party and second party partnerships so with regards to third party there are a number of providers available in marketplace which can be subscribed as per our requirements as well as for second party data there are a different like if, you, if we wish to uh, partner with any second party part, uh, partner, we can do that as well using DMP uh, in a seamless way with maintaining the uh, data privacy in, in place. So once we merge the different data sources, we have Signal, the key value pair called the audience manager terminology. Signals can be combined to build a segment. So for example, say I will take a signal from or a data point in simple terms from Adobe Analytics that, that says all the people who have gone to home page and have and then combining with my CRM data that is with an age of 50 to 64 and then combining if they are a business owner. So all of these data points can be merged together into one audience within audience manager and then you can push it to any of the uh, marketing platforms so we can easily combine the different data points of the different data sources into one segment or if we want to do more you know if we want to check more about you know combining how other attributes would work we can do that as well because there is no limit to create the number of audiences right now in audience manager going deeper like, into um, how are we you know kind of using the signal and create to build segments so when we are uh, you know collecting adobe analytics data or offline crm data so they are in form of signals which means in in simple terms i would say there are multiple signals that are you know on the website that those are nothing but the key value pairs which you see so for example i go to a website I go to the home page of a particular website. So page type would flow as home page. So page type equals home page is a signal that is 
flowing into Adobe Analytics. Similarly, uh, if we are collecting impressions from a double click manager or any third party data uh, that we are subscribed to. So what happens is if the impressions are captured in, in a key value pair or in a pixel value pair of audience manager. And similarly, for or third party data, there are different number of signals. Say for example, it will be a signal of age uh, 25 to 30. So that signal is used now in a trade for, for creating a trade and then building a segment. So how uh, the segment is composed of, it has three components I would say, trade and then inside trade there are number of signals which are used for capturing the user behavior data or the user data that is available in the data sources. Coming to this diagram, what it's trying to show is there are a number of signals that we receive with an audience manager, but we need to identify the signals that we want to use and identify the unused signal as well to see if they have any potential type of, of IDs that are being collected and can be used for creating more robust audiences. And we want to create segment for people who are who are travelers and with the age of 55. So what we will do is we will combine age uh, 55 trade uh, and travel trade with with uh, and condition you're showing as plus. So in, in logically in audience manager there are logically operators who combine different trades that is and or and not. So you will combine with and and then that will create a segment of mature travel. So this way we can combine the different trades to different type of uh, operators that we want that is and or and not and, and so on. So let's take an example of uh, how is the data collected in, uh, by the different teams and how the teams manage the data with, with overlap. So for example, the person views the ad on TV and search for the product on the website and then goes into the retail store for the purchase data. So we have a behavioral uh, ID for that user as well as uh, then when the user goes to the portal purchase and from the store we also have the another CRM ID or the, a common ID that would be for you know making a purchase that is generated at the RN. So that way there will be one one team will be having the web analytics team will be having uh, this particular type of data which can be also used by the personalization team to give provide on site personalization on the website. Similarly when a user receives an email uh, into his inbox and, and is looking to read them in, in, in the store. So that way the data is stored within the email team. Uh, similarly, when a user is looking to purchase from the retail store, that data will, uh, will be stored within the CRM team system and not uh, you know, connected with any other system there. Similarly, when a user is you know looking at the laptop to uh, using his laptop to make a purchase, so that way, uh, it will be the behavioral device ID that will be captured, and so on. So there are multiple IDs in, in you know, in the entire system, and which represents the same user in some shape and form. So while we are showing them email marketing ads, and while we are showing them on-site personalization, we are duplicating the efforts by not thinking the different IDs that are already available in the system, and that may cause a disjointed experience to the user, and that could lead to, to not a very good customer experience as well. So using audience manager, we can combine the different data that is collected in the different systems and sync all of the IDs that are available within the database. Coming to audience manager at a, at a glance, like overall, uh, what does audience manager do is once we have created these segments, then we need to activate those segments in, in different platforms. So here, uh, the different platforms are termed as destinations in audience manager terminology. So for example, I want to share or activate a segment in, in display this display destination then I need to link with that particular display, display platform to share the segments uh, for the display campaign. Similarly, we can share the segments for source, social as well, as well as for on-site personalization that is uh, for optimization that we use to Adobe Target or any other tool. Like so far I have not come across um, any other tool that is used for uh, on-site targeting like 
वन इज आई बिलीव एवर केज एडोबी टारगेट मोस्टली आई हैव हर्ड अबाउट देम एज वेल so i think this is showing the same view of what we had seen previously like basically the audiences are siloed in in different in different systems and due to which the cms system is having different set of or like different completely different set of users and analytics is having different user ids and crm system is having different ids and so on due to which all of these ids are not same is not or uh, showing a same experience to the customer when we are targeting them in any of the platform going into a better state of using the audience or using our data uh, by unifying the different ids uh, that are available or consolidating the different ids that are available in system to provide user a consistent experience throughout the journey so we can think all of the different type of data sources that we have within the system and build unified audience profile for targeting them across different programs so let's take another in the example so we want to combine our analytic data with our offline data or third party data to effectively target our our audiences so we can combine our behavioral data offline crm data and any other third party data building segment out of you know, all of these uh, different data sources and pushing it across different platforms so that we can show them same experience when they go on the website when they are the social platform and connect their experience when they are moving to any other platform as well so say for example if if the we'll take the traveler audience example here again so for example say uh, age uh, users with age 55 who are business travelers or uh, when we are pushing it to social and and this say for example so we may show them of uh, of uh, of 30% off uh, on 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 social and this day so when they come on the website we can show them the same offer of of discount of 30% so which will connect their experience throughout and then they can come into the consideration phase of actually considering and availing the offer to make a purchase so that way we can provide a consistent experience to a particular audience set throughout their journey without any different experience in in, in a different platform which may cause like Hey, I had seen a different ad a few minutes back in different in different say social platform. So right. that may cause a, a, a disjointed experience and a bad customer experience. I would say from their point of view. So it's better to have a, a similar experience throughout their journey so that we can push them to or encourage them to convert first. so we have come to the end of the demo topic so for audience manager there is business practitioner certification available and the architect certification available so business practitioner is more towards the strategic approach and the business side of things and whereas architecture would be more towards deploying the code if needed and the back end integration that is required at times of with an audience manager